Hey guys, today I'm gonna get ready because I'm gonna go out and about. It is gloomy, it is dreary, and I'm gonna do my makeup. Because I'm going to a Halloween store, which you really need to get dressed up to do. So I wanted to, I don't know, I just feel like getting ready today, getting super glam, looking baller, and I thought I would film it because we all know how bad I've been about filming lately. Sit back, relax, and watch me get on this close to Halloween crazy eye look. I'm gonna pop in some contacts because I bought these new contacts. They're from Desio and they're called Innocent White. I also got one called Desert Dream. And I think I'm gonna do Innocent White today. I just really wanna look super dramatic and crazy. So one sec, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go pop in those contacts. I know it looks crazy, but that's because I don't have my makeup on yet and I promise you, as soon as my makeup is on, it will look more tied together. So I already took a shower, washed my face, did everything like that. I'm just gonna put on my moisturizer. You guys know what I use, I've used it. It's the same thing that I've been using and that I'm always going to use. It is the Josie Marin Argon Milk and it's wonderful. And if you haven't tried it, try it. Next, I'm going to apply a layer of my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation in the color 810 Classic Ivory. I'm using the Real Technique sponge for this. I didn't know if I would like it or not, but I really do like it. I like the flat edge, and that's what I use every day to apply my foundation. I'm not gonna show my foundation and concealer routine because you guys have seen it a thousand times. Same thing, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and the 3-in-1 foundation. Now that my skin is done, I'm going to move on to my brows. I'm not going to film that either because I have a full brow tutorial. I am using a different product than I normally use. I normally use the Anastasia Dip Brow, and this time I am using the e.l.f. Brow Kit. I The reason why is because I can't find my Anastasia Dip Brow after I moved about a month ago. Still can't find it. Don't know where it is. It's in my makeup stash somewhere. But the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit is great. It works great. Um, I have the color dark, <laughs> and it is... A great product it's got the waxy side and the powder side it's a great product and it's like three dollars so if you guys are looking for something a lot less expensive this is a very close second to the Anastasia brow Wiz to me and I use it more okay so I zoomed you in a bit and finished my brows and as you can see they strong but now I'm going to put on my Mary Luminizer highlight I've kind of I went from using a lot of my MAC Soft and Gentle to I'm kind of back to my Mary Luminizer now. I don't know why, it's summer's over and highlight is kind of dead. People are doing a lot more of a matte finish. Highlight will never be dead to me. I fucking love highlight. Tell me what you guys think. Do you love highlight too? Cause look at that shit. Ba, ba, ma. Give that shit some highlight. Like every other person on YouTube, I'm going to contour using the shocking Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. You know what surprised me about this contour kit? It's small, it's very small. It looks big, right? Compared to my little head, it's very small. I'm using the middle color here called Fawn because it is the coolest toned, ashiest contour color. And I'm starting right up by my ears here and just kinda putting it into the hollows on my cheeks like you do when you contour. Where else would you put it? I have been blending forever and it still looks muddy because it's just this brush. I know it's the brush. Unless it's the fucking cheek powder, but everyone else seems to be enamored by it, so... Unless everyone else is a liar, which I have found to be true on YouTube. So be careful who you listen to. Okay, let's get on to the damn eyes. How long have we been going? I am going to only use the time... I'm not even gonna use blush. Fuck it, it's not a blush type of day, and I'll tell you why. Because I want to look a little bit zombie-like, but not. As you know, when you do eyeshadow, you should put a base color down. So I've put concealer on my lids because MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, again, is formulated to be able to be a base for your eyeshadow. The best thing that you can do then is put a color that's similar to your skin color on your whole lid area so that the next colors that blend out are going to blend out more seamlessly. Because if you blend out on top of like not set or slightly wet, um, color or, or slightly wet skin it's going to kind of drag a little bit it's just it's just going to be kind of shitty so i put the vanilla color from the Too faced chocolate bar palette this is like my perfect it's really sad that that color is so similar to my skin that that works but that's my perfect base color and it smells like hot chocolate so have fun with that a lot of people will go with makeup geek peach smoothie um, which I think I will today as well just because I kind of feel like it so I'm gonna use my makeup geek makeup geek I'm going to use my makeup geek peach smoothie for my transition shade you don't have to use peach smoothie you can use any color that you have peach smoothie is just such a similar skin tone color that people like it 
for being a transition shade. And I do too, I would have to agree. I kind of use Peaches and Cream more than I use Peach Smoothie, but um, I'm going to use Peach Smoothie today. Then I'm going to go into my Coastal Sense 252 palette, and I'm digging this shade right now. It is, just right now, it's kind of like a terracotta color. I'm going to go in and buff that into my crease. Oh my god, I need to tweeze my eyebrows so bad. You can probably see it like crazy on camera. I'm also taking a bit of this color on the fluffy brush underneath of my eye because I am going to smoke this look down really far because like I said I kind of want to go for it's so gloomy outside today I wish you guys could see it it's so gloomy that it's the perfect day for a creepy Halloween look I'm gonna wear a hat and all I'm gonna wear like a beanie so it'll look really baller I'm telling you guys if you haven't bought the Coastal Sense 252 palette yet, you're missing out on life. Maybe people don't like it because it's not brand name, because it's not Too Faced, or it's not MAC, or it's not... I don't understand. It's... These fucking shadows are... They're so good. Look at them. They blend out like a bitch. Oh, and just let me tell you, I will do a video on it. Not a fan of Urban Decay shadows. I hate to say it. Everyone's like, Urban Decay Naked 1, Naked 2! I bought the fucking Pulp Fiction thing, not a fan. They don't blend out well, I just don't like it. So I'm gonna do a full review on them. Um, I did buy it and I did keep it because it's limited edition. It's, well maybe limited edition, maybe I'm totally wrong on that. So then I'm gonna take the darker shade of this exact same color, it's down here. They look super similar. The other one I did was at the end and that one's this one. And I'm gonna take that and I'm going to go a little bit deeper into my crease on the outer portion of my lower lid. Kind of in this outer V portion of my lower lid. There is still a little bit of black shadow on this brush because I haven't washed my brushes for a while, so don't judge me. But I'm going to use that shade there and I'm going to start blending out my lower lid outer V with that because it's a darker shade. What I like about the Coastal Sense shades too is they're not too pigmented to where that you can't work with them. Some shadows are so pigmented that when you go to blend them out, it's just impossible. And the Coastal Sense is just pigmented enough to where they blend out like a dream and you can build up on them and the colors are just fantabulous. I'm not endorsed by Coastal Sense, by the way. Everyone's going to be like, you're fucking being paid by Coastal Sense. No. I wish I was being paid by Coastal I wish I was being paid by anybody to do this shit. But I'm just giving you my honest opinion because I feel like there's not enough honesty on YouTube and people need to just shut up about everything. I'm telling you right now, half the shit that people... I'm going to do a whole video on products that are overhyped on YouTube because I'm telling you right now, pretty much guarantee that... If, if not more, probably like... 80% of them aren't even that good. They're just hyped up because these people are getting paid bucket loads of money to sell them to you. And just rest assured, I never do that. I never say yes to anything unless I really truly like it. Okay, I'm going to go with a deeper burgundy shade from the Coastal Scents palette. It's kind of on the bottom in the middle of that same one. Good choice, Christy. Good choice. Like in this color. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of Makeup Geek Corrupt, which is the black shade. I have fucking eyeshadow all over my face right now. I'm just going to deepen up this outer V with Corrupt. Keeping it really placed in the crease. I'm trying not to go too far above it. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the darker brown color and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. Now I'm going to make it super smudgy and black and I'm going to use the NYX Black Retractable Eye Pencil.
Now I'm just going to pop on some mascara and some false lashes. I'm going to be using House of Lashes Iconic Lashes and I will be right back. And that is the finished eye look. See how lashes just make it all come together? Sometimes you feel like shit ain't working. But lashes, lashes. So today I'm going to do a very dramatic like everything else, lip. Um, I'm going to be using the NYX Macaron Lipstick in the color gray as fuck. No, the color is Black Sesame. That is the color. It is a gray lipstick. And I'm also going to pair it with the NYX Butter Lipstick in Licorice. And I'm going to put that just on the center of the lips to sort of look like that eaten popsicle bloody mouth look. Why not? I bought all 12 of these, by the way, and I will be doing a review on them. Um, I love them. I can't, I'll just tell you that right off the bat. Uh, the colors are crazy cool, as you can tell. I feel like that color's a tad purple for this eye look, because the eye looks sort of that terracotta color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that Coastal Scents 252 palette. I'm going to take a bit of that uh, terracotta color that I used on my eyes, and I'm just going to pat that into the center of my lips just to make it a little bit more meldy. That works a little bit better. So I hope you guys like this makeup. I know it's a bit different than what I'm, what you're used to seeing me wear. I know the contacts are crazy, but it just really gives the whole look a really pop. It just, it really makes it stand out. If you were to do this on normal eyes, you don't need the contacts, obviously. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. If you guys would like a full list of all the products used in this video, just go to the description of this video and I'll have them all listed with as many links as I can find. I also have a link for this hat and these contacts if you guys would like to know where I got them. And um, if you guys would like to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel. I am trying to put out more videos. Um, and I'll also put a link in the description of this video to my brow routine, which I do have a full video on. It is not with the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. It is with the Anastasia dip brow, but same technique, same everything. So I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video.